Hi everyone, I'd like to show you my new DJI Osmo Mobile 3 that I purchased from Amazon at a cost of 177 bucks, including the tripod. It's a DJI Osmo Mobile 3. I'd like to show you the operation of this Mobile 3 from DJI. Um, this is a foldable gimbal, so you fold it like that and there you go that's how you that's how you do it so it's a it's a kind of like a pocket uh, gimbal so you can put it in your in your pocket in your po you can put it in your pouch um, the operation of this one is you put your mobile phone the way to properly do it is if you see the the arrow the red arrow head that should be that should be the uh, position of the camera so the way to do it is for example I'm using my Samsung S9 so the camera is that way so the way to do it is you you push it towards the clamp and balance it later on I'm gonna show you how to balance it uh, to show you how to balance it once you put the camera into the gimbal you uh, you balance the landscape and the portrait portion of the uh, portrait portion of it. So, if you notice, when I put it on portrait, it goes that way. So the way to balance it is you have this. You can you can move the uh, you can move the camera sideways so that you can balance the portrait. So if I move it, if I move it, see. Now it's a bit balanced. Oh no, not yet. Yeah, and then you balance it on the landscape too. So the way to do it, so it's kind of balanced because it's not moving. It's not moving by itself. So once it's balanced, you have to press the M button to turn on the uh, the gimbal. Press it, hold it. Then it's gonna do it that way. Thing you need to do is go to your Play Store and download the DJI Mimo, and then if you're using the uh, the Apple, you go to App Store. So now you have to go to the DJI app, open it. Um, you see to initialize, and then you connect. Once it connects, now you're connected to the DJ, uh, to the DJI mobile tree and then now you're on the app so the gimbal does have the uh, shutter and record button the M button or the mode button the joystick the battery indicator the telephoto and wide uh, setting and then the trigger you have the trigger so the way to use it is if you double tap the trigger the gimbal will reset to the original position the original position when you turn on the uh, the gimbal is in portrait mode so if you want to do it on a landscape mode you have to turn the M button twice and that's gonna go to landscape mode and if you want to go back to uh, portrait mode you click it twice the uh, the shutter or the record button is for example you're facing that you you wanted to take a picture so you just press it there you go it's gonna take the picture that's the shutter and record button so at the back you have the trigger right so when you press it twice it's gonna go to When you press it twice it's gonna go to the um, default position so if you want to do it like um, the camera facing towards you now the the camera is facing towards the back so if you want the camera to be facing towards the front you just need to press three times on the trigger one two three there you go one two three now what I'm gonna show you is how to do a panoramic shot. So you go to panel, and then 
you have an option to do it by 3x3 three three or 200, uh, 240 degrees. So I'm going to show you the 3x3 three three and then shutter and record button, click it. Then that's going to be the panoramic view. Sorry about the mess, but that's how you that's how you create the panoramic view on a DJI Osmo Mobile Tree. If you want to activate the active track, what you need to do is press the trigger once. So, for example, you wanted to you wanted to track that uh, the box, so you just press it once. There you go. So you see the the green line or button or circle in the middle. So it's uh, actively tracking the box right now. That's how you do an active track. By the way, the DJI Osmo Mobile Tree has an active track version three. Then if you want to deactivate that, you need to press the trigger one, trigger once again. And there you go. watching my uh, video about the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. I hope you like it. Thank you so much and see you on my next video.